Sometimes, in order to take two steps forward, you've got to take one step back and look for clues left behind from the greats of the past. What's up, champ? Jordan Wheeler here from Blue Star Nutraceuticals, and today we're taking you back to the golden era and running you through an old school bodybuilding leg workout with six of the greatest classic exercises with a modern day twist. Some of the best physiques to date, like Reg Park, Larry Scott, and Frank Zane, came from the old school training of the past, before any of today's scientific breakthroughs or advanced training methods. However, because we're in the Blue Star state-of-the-art training facility, loaded with the best leg training equipment in existence from Arsenal Strength and Westside Barbell, I want to mash up the old school exercises with new school equipment. Make no mistake, there's no mainstream fitness equipment and gadgets here just old school classics made better. Welcome to the old school meets new school leg workout. This workout is made up of six exercises, five sets for each, performed in a pyramid rep scheme, a very common training method among golden era lifters and popularized by Schwarzenegger in the 70s. You will be starting with a weight that you would hit failure with at 15 reps. Your first set will be 12 reps, which means you'll be leaving a little bit in the tank. Then you'll be adding a bit of weight to each set and performing fewer amounts of reps. The goal is to hit failure on the last two sets. Set one, 12 reps. Set two, 10 reps. Set three and four, eight reps. And for set five, six reps. You only have 90 seconds rest between sets. So use the stopwatch on your smartphone. The shorter rest period means you'll get a ton of volume in during a short period of time. As always, perform a dynamic warm up before you begin. The full workout is listed for you in the description below. Exercise one, barbell back squat. To start out, we'll blast the legs with the greatest lower body compound exercise known to man, the barbell back squat. And since we're combining old school and new, we'll perform these with the duffalo bar, which helps alleviate shoulder strain. But you can perform these just as well with the regular barbell. Because this exercise allows you to load up a ton of weight, it's a serious mass builder for your entire lower body. Remember to brace the core, keep your knees out, and squat down past parallel for a full range of motion. This will likely be your heaviest exercise of the entire workout, so remember to bring the intensity. Exercise two, sissy squat. Next, we'll move on to sissy squats, a famous staple of the quad father himself, Tom Platts. Don't let the name fool you. This exercise ain't for sissies. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, grab onto a support, and as you bend down, lean your upper body back so you're in a straight line from head to knees and your torso is about 45 degrees with the floor. If you're strong enough, you can hold a plate to your chest while performing these, but be careful not to overload your knees. Body weight alone on this one is a struggle for most. If you've done them correctly, your quads should be on fire. If you're fortunate enough to have a sissy squat like the one we have here from Arsenal Strength, give it a shot as well as it will help reduce the risk of injury. Exercise three, walking lunge. Next, we've got walking lunges. This is a good transition exercise after performing mostly quad dominant to a more hamstring activation exercises. Throw a barbell on your back or grab a pair of dumbbells. Drive through the heel of your front leg and explode right into the lunge on the opposite leg. The real work on this one comes from the explosive raising portion of the movement, not the lowering. So stay explosive and keep constant tension on those hamstrings. Exercise four, Russian leg curl. Now we're moving on to my favorite, the Russian leg curl, also known as Nordic ham curl. No exercise recruits your hamstrings better than this one, period. For these, we're lucky enough to have a Westside Barbell inverse curl machine that we'll use to demonstrate. But you can also perform these on a lat pull down machine or off a bench with a partner if you don't have access to an inverse curl machine. Keep your core braced and your back straight throughout the whole exercise. No arching the back or sticking your butt up. Slowly lower down to a full stretch position in your hamstrings, then forcefully contract your glutes and hamstrings to pull your body back up. If you're performing this on a lat pull down or a bench with a partner, be sure to have a pole or something to assist you as body weight for this exercise is a feat of brute strength in itself that not many can easily accomplish. Exercise five, barbell deficit stiff leg deadlift. 
Next, we move on to our final hamstring builder, the deficit stiff leg deadlift. The stiff leg deadlift is an awesome compound exercise for building those sweeping hamstring drops. When you look back at the old school lifters like Arnie and Franco, you would often see them perform this exercise on a bench or some raised platform. This allows you to go beyond your normal range of motion and get an even deeper stretch in the hamstrings to help you develop the truly iconic hams. Keep the back straight, don't round. Keep your knees slightly bent so you don't hyperextend them. And focus on feeling the stretch in your hamstrings at the bottom and flex your hamstrings and glutes to pull the weight back up. If you feel too much strain in your lower back, you're likely lacking flexibility or lifting too heavy. So make sure you feel it where you're supposed to. Exercise six, donkey calf raise. To finish off this epic old school leg day, we've got donkey calf raises. This is my all time favorite mass builder for calves and an exercise famously portrayed by the old school lifters back in the day who would do these with three big bodybuilders sitting on their back. Fortunately for us, we have an arsenal strength donkey calf raise machine to perform these on. But if you don't have something similar, you can always stack some plates on your back or get your training partner or perhaps some ladies at the gym to hop on for added resistance. Keep your back straight, lower your heels below the foot pad, pause at the bottom in the full stretch position, then forcefully contract your calves to raise yourself up. And there you have it. Try out this classic old school bodybuilding leg workout on your next leg day and let us know how it went for you. Smash that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to Blue Star Nutraceuticals for more kick-ass workouts and videos just like this. Until next time, keep training hard.